extreme pleasure to say, welcome home. Welcome home. Thank you for sharing your talent with the world. And I would love to take a, I would also like to take a moment to thank our elected officials who are gathered here today. Uh, Assembly, Assemblyman Al Taylor, Congressman Espelat, Co Councilman Perkins, Assemblywoman Dickens, Senator Brian Benjamin, representatives from the mayor's office and the Manhattan Borough President's office, all here gathered today whose support is invaluable to the Apollo. With your support, we will continue to champion artists, support our youth, and offer services to our community for the next 85 years. And I hope to see you all tonight at the show. So without further ado, let's begin the program. So I'd like to please welcome April Robin Bobbin, CEO of our ARB Consulting Group. April. Good afternoon, Harlem. How's everybody doing? I just want to tell you, quickly thank you so much for coming out. It's not often that we actually get the opportunity to honor icons like Teddy Riley, Aaron Hall, Damian Hall, Keith Sweat, Kumo cool D, and Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh crew while they're still here. So we want to give them their just due while they can enjoy it. And I'm so happy to have been able to, to do this. This actually started with a small conversation with Teddy where he shared with me he had never been honored home. And we said, we can't do that. And when we spoke to the electeds, they were like, oh no, that can't be. So here we are today. And I thank you all for coming. We're gonna keep this short and sweet so we can continue to move on. Thank you for coming and enjoy the program. I'd like to also, excuse me, take this moment, I'm trying to get out of the way, to introduce the, a, a staple of our community. She has been a pillar before she was ever in the political world. I, it's my awesome privilege to introduce you to Assembly Member Inez Dickens. Thank you so much, April. Is Harlem in the house? Yes. Yeah. I want to hear it out there. Is Harlem in the house? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you all for coming out on this morning, on this great Sunday morning that God has brought us to, to stand here before the Apollo Theater, the famous Apollo Theater. I am so honored to, to be able to recognize the icons of the new Jack Swing. All of them, each in their own rights, record producers, singers, artists. Oh my God, it's just amazing. And these are our Harlem boys. And we're gonna recognize them at home. But I want to bring before you now, the person that represents us in the Senate, who helped to make the New York State Senate a democratic Senate once more, Senator Brian Benjamin. Yeah. Thank you so much, Inez, the Queen of Harlem. Uh, let me let me first uh, acknowledge uh, some of our elected officials who are here. Actually, let me do that second. The, what I wanted to say to all of you here is, this this is my generation. Okay, I mean I can go through every dating relationship. This is our generation. This is our generation. I see, I can't let me, I can't let me get a little sum. I'm sorry. Listen, we love you guys. When I think about all of my dating relationships, I got all of y'all in them, okay? My first kiss was the key sweat, all of that. But no, it is a, it's a <laughs> you know, it is a pleasure to honor y'all here today. Um, and I just wanted to say, you know, there's, there's few times when we can do something like this, and we're glad we're able to do this today for all of you. So I just wanted to say that. Let me let me acknowledge some of our elected officials who have come because they want to say a few words before we before we give you guys the keys. Uh, let's start off with our congressman, Congressman Adriano Espaya. Thank you, Senator. Welcome to the iconic, the historic Apollo Theater. Right here in Harlem. 
And you see some of these luminary names. James Brown, Louis Armstrong, Celia Cruz, Prince, and what else? What else do we got there? What else do we got there? Huh? The Quincy Jones, all right. The new Jack Sound, the new Jack Sound. Now I grew up a little further up and right in the borderline of Washington Heights and Sugar Hill. And I started out with merengue and salsa. Then I ran into James Brown. And then there was this new genre of music that had all kinds of rhythms in it. And it created a new concoction name. Say it one, one, one time, what is it? New Jack City. All right, and then the leaders of that new concoction are here today. And Teddy Riley, congratulations for being here, for being honored right here in the iconic Apollo Theater. You deserve it, and the entire team that brought this music. And you know, when music is good, you just feel it in your bones, man. You can't stop. When, mu when music is good, you just feel it. You can't stop. And that's good music. And that's good music. So congratulations, I bring you here a proclamation from the U.S. Congress. This is for you, Teddy. All right, thank you. We're going to come back to that. All right. Oh, yes, we got to, we're going to get to that. We Next we have Assembly Member uh, Al Taylor. Come yeah. on out. Hey man, I came straight out the pulpit. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, come on, we're going to keep it 100, man. I don't have a whole lot of time, so thank you. I ain't got six minutes. <laughs> keep, I can't even get a sweat going. I'm going to keep it short, so how you like me now? And Teddy... Man, I remember those hours, you and Aaron, and um, you guys putting in the work with my wife, and man, it's good to see you all. I'm sorry I can't stay, but listen, it is an honor, and you know what? We are just so elated to stand here with icons, icons that have revolutionized music, you know, in every genre. You can't get away from that new swing, so I love you, I adore you all, thank you so much. I gotta get out, because I might pop in my coat. <laughs> I'm going to holler at you. Fantastic. Uh, before we uh, uh, bring Inez back up to for the main event, I just want to acknowledge a couple of other folks who are here. We have Keith Lilly from Bill Perkins' office representing him. Yeah. We got Remy Salas representing the mayor of the city of New York. We've got Athena Moore representing Manhattan Borough President Gail Moore. Yeah. And we've got Adrian Felton representing the now public advocate, soon to be Attorney General Letitia James. So with that, Assembly Member Inez Dickens, Queen of Harlem, you want to come up and lead us. But before we do that, we have a number of proclamations here that we're not going to present because we'll be here all day. Can you raise your proclamations from all of our offices that we are going to be presenting to these gentlemen for their for their skill and talent. Harlem is the arts and culture capital of the world, and y'all make Harlem what it is. So we all wanted to present this to you. So you're gonna get that, take it home, put it on your wall. But now let's get to the main event. We have Assembly Member Inez Dick is gonna lead us in giving you guys the keys to Harlem. You know, you know, this is such a special occasion for all of us. I know Brian thought it was his thing, but it's, it's not, you know. He thought this was his sound, but it's not. You know, I just want him to know. You know, because I, I can get down now, you know. You know, because, but because really, Teddy, you know, you're going to groove me. I don't want you to know that. You know, you're going to groove me. So that, so that Keith Sweat is going to warn him. You know, it's gonna warn her. You know, so so that I can so that I can roll on over to a Cool D Mall. You know, Cool Mo D, Cool Mo D. That's my Cool Mo D. Cool Mo D. That's because I said I rolled on over to you. You know, and of course, Lottie John. Where is he? We like the body. But we've got a very special, All right. a special key to present to each one of you, the key to Harlem. 
I know that you wanted the key to New York, but I don't care about the key to New York. I do care about the key to Harlem. <laughs> because this is your home. And this is what it looks like. I can't, I can't. Can you see it? Can everybody see it? Yeah. Come to Harlem Who mowed this? Is this a like, do you like this? Do you like this? All right, Teddy, do you like this? All right, Key. All right, I just want to know. And, and of course, my guy, Dougie. All right, I want to know what each, we're going to present each one of you. Come on up. 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 Dougie, where's Dougie? Dougie! Fresh! Alright, right, this is the Get Fresh, where? Dougie, right here. Get Fresh, Get Fresh. Chill wheel. We're going to do a Get Fresh Club. Well, chill wheel back to Get Fresh Club. Anybody know him? It's always like that with you. I'm trying to stay out of the way. I'm trying to stay out of the way. I'm trying to stay out of the way. I'm not making no problem. Over this way. Only person missing is Puff. <laughs> Only person missing is Diddy. <laughs> Brian. Yeah, there we go. What's up, everybody? Y'all got it cold here. I'm out in uh, Vegas, and we're warm out there, but it's so amazing to be here today. I'm, every moment of this day and being here in New York, I'm in disbelief, you know, and um, why? Because it was 1988 when I pulled in front of the Apollo, and it was my first show with Guy here at the Apollo. But that's not the story. It was about the man who saw me, and I pulled in the middle of the street. It was the cop that bust me, and we were at this precinct over here. It was the cop that bust me. He was doing patrol the day I performed my first show here at the Apollo, and I stopped in the middle, right in front of the Mark 25, 125, where my, one of my brothers, Blue, Blue who sell the jewelry. Yeah. Everybody know Blue, if you from yeah. Harlem, you know Blue. Yeah. So, and then I had, I had my brothers in the Jeep and they had their Pathfinders and on the back we had the covers of the, of the wheels and who, you know who did those wheels? 
D Ferg. Yes. Do y'all understand? Yes, Harlem. We full of Harlem, and we we all the way Harlem. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I'm about. And I'm just so proud to to receive this at my home. You know, and when that cop, he was about to give me a ticket. He didn't give me the ticket because he saw my face and he asked me, he said, when I was in handcuffs, he said, what do you want to be? And I said, I want to be a star. And he said, you ain't going to be no star in here with them handcuffs on. And I said, well, I know that I'm going to be because you just gave me my confirmation. You gave me my confirmation. So when I seen him on this street, patrolling right there before I did my show, he gave me a hug and he was in tears. And he said, he couldn't say I knew you was gonna be, but he said, I believe God made it happen. So I'm all about the spirit, the energy, and everything of Harlem. And I'm so proud and I'm happy. I'm full of tears and I'm gonna be full of tears throughout the day because I made it. I made it in my own city. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, all the gods of gods, because they made this happen. Because Keith, Dougie, High School, Kumo D, The General, Eddie F, Guy, Damian, Aaron, Timmy Gatlin. LaVeba, who introduced me to all these fools. <laughs> Where is he at? If I didn't, if I didn't see LaVeba on the bus, we used to take the 101. Does the 101 still come? Yes. It do? Yes. See, I have a great memory. That 101 used to take us, and then we used to steal the buses. Me and my crew, we used to take the buses and drive them through Harlem. And we used to take them all the, we were young. We were like 15, 14 years old. We did some crazy things. But I just want to thank y'all. I want to thank y'all. I want to thank Jesus. And mom, I want to thank my mother and my father who's not with us and all my family. I love y'all. She all. All right, all right, the next one. Come on up, Kumoli. Cool Come on up. Come on. Where are you? Come on, baby. I asked you to roll with me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go on the other one, side, two, man. One, two, one, two. Got to do it MC style. <laughs> I'm going to keep this short and sweet, man. Uh, born and raised in Harlem. Harlem Hospital. Live right up the block on 127th, 128th Street in Convent. And uh, I actually made the rhyme and the, the, the town famous in that block, I could say. I used to live downtown, 129th Street, Convent. So to do this here and get this honor, man, with these guys especially, watching what we came through and watching something manifest from its infancy. Like Teddy said, LaVeva Malice is working over at Sugar Hill Records. I'm in a group Treacherous 3, if anybody remembers, Special K. L.A. Sunshine is also from the Hill, who should be here today in my personal opinion. But, uh, you know, we, we, we're just doing music and LaVeva says, I see your spirit, I see your energy. I just think you need a musical adjustment. I want to introduce you to this young guy named Teddy. I go to the studio, Teddy's in there. I put my beat down, I talk, I say what I'm gonna do. I leave to go get a sandwich and come back and there's a bass line on it. And Teddy is sitting there selling it. If y'all know Teddy, anybody that's been in the studio with him, he will sell you on whatever he's doing. So I came in ready to hear my boom bat and Teddy's just sitting there moving and shaking his head and looking at you and hypnotizing you like, you feel that? You feel that? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then I listen and I get to the hook and the record is called Go See the Doctor. He puts the boom, 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 boom. He puts that bass line on it. And from that point on, everything changed. Turned everything around. Same thing happened with the record How You Like Me Now. We're in London. I put the beat down or whatever, the boom back. Teddy says he needs something. He gets two samples from James Brown. I'm like, what's he gonna do with that? He puts it in the beginning and the end of the beat of the measure. All of a sudden, the record takes off. So from that point on, I just stopped asking questions. So by the time we got to the Wild Wild West and all of that, man, everything was sensory. I'm really, really glad. Like I said, I'm appreciative of being in this moment. I don't want to be long-winded. To do it in Harlem, like Teddy already said, to do it in Harlem and be here in Harlem, absolutely. I don't think you know how that what that means to us because to do it in the place you came from, 
and to be honored in the place you came from, to walk up and down these streets all the time, to go shopping and do everything that we did on 125th Street means everything. And the Apollo is an iconic space to us. I know I love the garden and all the other places, but the Apollo is the iconic place for all of us that come in Harlem, that came up in Harlem. So thank y'all once again. Peace and love, Kumo D out. Yeah. I want to just say that, that Kumo D goes back to, to Convent Avenue at 129th Street when they have the games, when the family day is out, and he performs and he helps to bring it together. So he comes back to his community where he grew up every year. So give it up, give it up, give it up. Now, now Keith Sweat, come on up, Keith. I'm the record producer, Uncle singer, Keith. radio personality. Uncle Keith. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what, I, 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 all I know is I want How you doing? How you doing? How's everybody feeling? First of all, I can look to the right. Those projects right there, that's where I was born and raised, right there. 125th Street Grand Project, apartment 3I, Morningside and Amsterdam. I used to walk down the block all the time and just look at the marquee and think about the day that I might be here, but my mother, who's not here anymore, used to tell me, boy, whatever you believe in, you can have it and achieve it. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet, and I want to say thank you to everyone up in Harlem. I think everyone before me has said everything and anything they could say about how great it was to grow up in Harlem, and, you know, I was blessed to be able to do what I'm doing. I, I, I give all the praises and the glory to God above, because with him he makes everything possible and anything possible so for those that want to achieve anything in life he's the key to everything so don't get it twisted it ain't about us right here it's about that man up above as long as you believe you will achieve you heard that as long as you believe you will achieve that sounds like a song don't it <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So what I want to say, I love y'all, thank y'all so very, very much. Y'all made all my dreams a reality. Y'all definitely have blessed me where I didn't think I could ever be blessed before in my life. And it was because of all of you believing in me and everybody who has uh, definitely, you know, loved New Jack Swing, Teddy Riley, myself, uh, Guy, everybody that's involved in this whole New Jack Swing era. Thank you so very much. I'm out now, baby. <laughs> How many of y'all ever heard of Guy? Anyone know anything about Guy? Yeah. I know something about Guy, but I ain't gonna talk about it because Inez's not gonna tackle me again. <laughs> We've got uh, Damien on behalf of himself and Aaron. We got certificates for, for you guys um, on behalf of Guy. Can you please take this and... Uh, yeah. 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 I should be in there too. <laughs> That's right. Y'all remember Bentley's? Yeah. These guys used to hang out in Bentley's, boy. Turn it out. All day. All day. All day. Well, first of all, it's a, an honor and a blessing to be here once again on this day the official New Jack Swing Day for the rest of its life. Yeah. It's been a blessing to be a part. In 1987, my brother came to Virginia State, got me. Timmy had left the group. Much love to Timmy Gatlin. He left the group. He told me, yo, man, I gotta, I gotta, I'm in this group, guy. I'm about to be famous. I was like, what? I was in Virginia State University. I came here to New York. I met my brother, Teddy. We signed the contract, and I'm telling you, it's been a blessing and a ride ever since, you know what I'm saying? So everybody who's been riding and dying for God for the last 30 years, bringing forth that music, giving y'all something from the heart, songs and music that you can live for and listen to every day, all the time. It's been a blessing to be a part of this, man. This ride is a beautiful ride. It's crazy. It's like a roller coaster, but I love it. I love each and every moment of it. Me, myself, my brother Aaron, I represent him while I'm standing here right now with y'all today. I love Teddy. Teddy is part he's a reason why the sound of guy the movement we each bring something very strong to this fold this threesome is is very strong and it's very powerful so i love y'all i thank harlem i thank the apollo this was our first show I'll never forget it we was rocking i was on the drums so i wasn't in the front they're gonna see me in the front tonight you know what i'm saying but 
You know what I mean? I was doing my thing, and, and it's, I'm just I'm just happy to be a part of this. So thank y'all very much. Thanks, Teddy. Take my butt. Thank my brother Aaron and everybody that's part of this New Jack Swing movement, man, because it's still here. It's still to stay. And thank Bruno Mars for bringing it back. He never left nowhere, but now he came and copied us, and now we about to bring it back for real. Yeah. So look out for that GUI new album. All yeah. love to y'all, y'all. Peace and love. Thank y'all very much, and thank you. Thank you. Boop. Okay. All right. Last but not least, we've got Mr. Doug E. Doug. Come on, Doug. Come to it. <laughs> it's a little too cold out here for me to join the beatbox, y'all. Hold on. My lips might freeze up by there. That, and I don't, you know how you know how social media is now. We ain't gonna do that. But uh but that's right. Come on, you know never us. Never us. I want I want to first I want to first say that uh, I want to thank all of y'all for standing out here in this cold. Yes, amen. Because that means a lot. Sometimes people standing out. He got on his gloves. I know his fingers is cold. Mine is cold in the glove. So I want to make it I want to make it short, but I want to make it as real as possible. Um, obviously, everybody up here kind of summed it up. Uh, all of this is a collective effort. You hear that music while I'm, while he's walking by? That's Harlem. Do you understand? Meaning that it, it, the way that happened just now, some people would be affected by it, but it, it doesn't affect me because I know where I came from and I know where I'm at and I haven't left here. All up and down 125th Street there would be cars out here. We used to hang out. We used to party out here, listen to music. I want to shout out Greg Marius up there at the Rucker. You understand? I mean, let's 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 be real. Let's be real. The Yusef Hawkins rally right over there on 125th Street. Senator Patterson was in there. He showed love, and he was there. We had Sister Soldier out here. A lot of y'all are from the Bronx. All of y'all, there's some people from the Bronx here. Any of the five boroughs, if you from any of these five boroughs, you are from Harlem as well. You know why? Because it's a collective effort. This is unity, and when I say collective, I mean that that's why we're here with Teddy. Teddy's here with Keith. Keith is here with Kumo D. I'm here with Chill Will, and we're here with Guy. It's a collective effort. You see everybody here that's politically correct <laughs> is here together. So this is what it's about, and I want to I want to say that I appreciate what has been done today. And I want to thank everybody here that have contributed to making me who I am. I want to shout out Barry B. And I want to shout out my brother Slick Rick. And I want to shout out all of the other people. Dennis Bell, Ali Cotton, who does sound here. See, when you look at a person and how great they are, there's so many people that help them to become who they are. And you should never forget who helped you become who you are because that says a lot about you when you forget and ladies and gentlemen i still live in harlem thank you we have a very very special surprise for these special gentlemen because as we know, music isn't just here, but it transcends across the waters and internationally. So our special surprise is Queen Ziambi Katibusula, who is the reigning monarch of the Democratic Republic of Congo, is honoring these gentlemen with an official chieftaincy. They will be chiefs, real legitimate chiefs of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Queen Ziambi. Hello everyone. My name is Diambi Mukalenga Mukajiwanka Shama Wabakwa Luntu Wakasai Wakongo. I am Queen Diambi, female king of the Bakwa Luntu people of the kingdom of the Dimbelenge in Kasai, Congo. We are part of the great Luba Empire that existed since the 15th centuries. 
I'm here to honor amazing people today. And I want them to know that the reach of their work and their art and the music is a reach far beyond all the way to the belly of Africa, all the way to the heart of Africa. This music made so many people happy and joyful. In moments of difficulties and trials and tribulation, they brought love, they brought joy, they brought fun into life. So I'm here to represent my people and with the power that has been bestowed upon me from my ancestors and from my people, I also come to tell them that they have been amazing in promoting the talents and the gift that they were bestowed by their ancestors because we know the music that they've been playing has been blessed by their ancestors. Their ancestors are Congo, their ancestors are Mande, their ancestors are Yoruba, their ancestors are Ashanti, their ancestors are Zulu. And as I am a queen of the land of Africa, I can come here and tell these wonderful, amazing artists, amazing men. And I want to also say something about artists. In Africa, we don't have a word for art. For us, art is, doesn't exist. We don't just do things for be, to be beautiful. Everything is about healing. Everything is about educating. So when artists are actually high priests of knowledge, of wisdom, and education, and they bring healing, so what they have, these men have done, they have accomplished amazing work of healing and carrying forth the tradition of our forefathers that were taken from our land of Africa and brought here. So they have continued with the great legacy of our forefathers and this is why I'm so honored and privileged to be here today to recognize all of them as chiefs of different villages. So they will be given their certificate with a name, an African name that has a meaning and I'm going going to do that right now and I'm going to do stop the talking and now you have and of course everybody in the Congo is waiting for them when they go and the chieftaincy comes with responsibility because it's great power I'm bestowing to you the power back of your ancestors so it's not just for the form it's not for a show it's really a deep uh, spiritual meaning to this what is about to happen you are the leaders of our community you've been the leaders of this community in Harlem and in the United States and in the world and as such you have to be recognized as rulers so the chieftaincy that you have is an honorary one but it's the same as the chiefs over there so you have the power of decision just as much to help your people of the Congo that are in Congo and all over the world because we are everywhere so thank you and bless you Get Danny Mo. Let him know you're here. Let him know you're here. Oh, whoa. Let him know you're here. Hey, man. But Ted. Praise the Lord, Ted everybody. Chief, 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 yeah. We part the seeds now, baby. <laughs> so I just want to know my name. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> of course, this is important to everybody from Harlem right here. You dig? You're not from Harlem, you really don't understand what this is about right here. Only person missing is Diddy. works. Ted even shouted out blue. Shout it out, Greg Marius. That's real Harlem. Alright. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Yes, sir, it is. Yeah. I gotta go get those on the plane, though. Okay, I'm gonna do something. When I say Harlem, you say oh yeah. Whatever I say, you say oh yeah. Harlem, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Harlem, oh yeah. 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 Ted, say what's up to the people, Ted. Well, thank you all for coming. What's up, uh, this what's was a great up, moment man? for Harlem, a great I moment for our, our young legends on the moon. We'll be hanging out tomorrow. Have a good one. The new, the young king, the new king. Appreciate it, bro. Amen. Good to see you, baby. Cool OB, Dougie Fresh, Teddy Riley, God, D Sweat, Aaron Damon Hall. Thank you, guys. Get home safe. Damn. Send me that. Yes, sir. Come on, Chief. Hey, Chief. Hey, Chief. Come on, Chief. Okay. With the name of your village and your name. I've had a hundred number. I don't know if you're still the table. Damn, say what's up to people. Yo, you already know what it is, man. Like, I'm a Chief. I'm a King. All up to all of y'all, man. God bless, man. New Jack Sweet Day. Today, December 9th. All up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell you one thing, it's freezing outside, but I got love for the music, so it has to be sleep. Eddie. Yes. Yes, definitely. Keith. Keith. So what's up to the peoples real quick? What's up, what's up, man? What's up? The Swift, baby. How y'all doing? I'm back in Harlem, baby. Back home. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Born two blocks away. I had to come back and represent, baby. Come back and represent. <laughs> All right? Good cool day. Cool. Appreciate out. it, bro. Thank you. <laughs> My man. All right. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I He's coming down. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, sir. 
Bro, Mo, we reporting. We, we got to do the documentary on D Mo soon. <laughs> you know, tell them the story. They, they don't know. D Mo was the one to cut everybody's hair. Bobby Brown, right. Keith Sweat. He was on the Triple Threat tour. Before we get into, in terms of, in terms of the.